so I'm headed home from work. I am almost to my house. I'm gonna go ahead and change out of these clothes. I'm in my little work, um, like my monogram work coat. I'm gonna go ahead, take these shoes off, change out of my clothes. It's Friday. I wanna clean my house so that I can enjoy it over the weekend. So I'm going to do a quick haul and show you guys what I picked up from Joann's and Kroger. And yeah, let's get started. Joann's has their end of season sale from Christmas. And I know it is towards the end of January, but I have been eyeing these mugs for so long and I finally picked them up. I think they're so cute. However, I am not going to save them for Christmas. I'm going to use them now. I've been incorporating a lot of marble decor in my house. And so I'm actually going to hang them this way on my coffee bar to display that marble decor. I'm so excited for that. So of course I purchased three of those because I have three hooks, well really four hooks, but I only display three mugs. Oh, I was looking for that. <laughs> A little turtle. I was looking for that. So I'm going to hang these this way to display the marble. And maybe during the holidays, I'll turn them back around to display the polar bear. And where it says, stay cozy. I also picked up this beautiful. So this is the reason why I went to the store. I picked up this beautiful marble bowl. I don't know if it's faux marble or real marble. I don't know. I think it's faux. But it's gorgeous from their place and time. Um like set that they had over the holidays. And I have really been daydreaming about this bowl and dreaming about it. And I was torn because it has a snowflake on the inside. And I thought that was very holiday specific, but I said, you know what? It was originally $59, so 60 bucks with 70% off. And I said, you know what? I wanna put my fruit in here and the fruit would be sitting on the bottom. No one's gonna see it. So it's gonna cover up that snowflake anyway. So I went to Joins for this and then I saw the matching mugs. And I thought that this will all be a great addition for the kitchen. So I picked that up. I also picked up some bananas. And my bananas will go in my new bowl. And maybe I'll pick up some cuties or clementines or something like that and put in there. And then, of course, I always like to have something sweet in the house. So I picked up some cupcakes. And it is Valentine's. Like, well, approaching Valentine's Day. And I'll show you guys. I'll insert a clip here. I'll show you guys what um, Kroger has for their Valentine's Day treats, cupcakes, cookies, and all that good stuff. Everything looks absolutely delicious. And if you just wanna swing by and grab something for Kroger for Valentine's Day, here it is. You've got everything, um, you know, ready to go. So put on your cake plate or to serve your honey. Call me crazy, but I am still using my Mrs. Myers. Iowa pine spray. It's still winter, so I think it's still applicable. Sometimes I will use the snowdrop scent as well, but the snowdrop to me is a little more perfumey, and I think I'll transition that into the spring. So I'm gonna use my Iowa pine to clean my countertops today. I am also going to sprinkle some Barkeeper's Friend into the sink with a little bit of bleach and rub it in with my Dollar Tree version of a scrub daddy and rub it all over the sink and let it sit while I clean the countertops and get organized. Remember when you kissed me I felt the taste of your lipstick Even the breath of your rib jeans I can still see it all We ran on top of buildings Just like a scene from a movie Living our life I think it's so satisfying to clean. I don't know what it is about the kitchen. The kitchen and the bathroom are my favorite places to clean. And I think it's because it's a lot of hard surfaces and it gets sticky and wet and there's potential for, you know, germ and bacteria. So I always make a concerted effort to clean those areas. And lately I've really been paying attention to my chairs as well because we pull those chairs in and out when we're eating and there's so many stickies all over it. So I have just been finding that so satisfying lately. But I wanted to check in with you guys and see how you are doing. I hope you had a wonderful holiday season and I hope your January is off to a really good start. 2022 seems to be a little bit better of a year, um, but you know, we'll see how that goes, right? Right now, I am sprucing up my tray that I normally put on my countertop. It was really dry and kind of dirty, so I washed it off and then um, sprayed my 
food grade mineral oil on it to give it a nice shine and to keep the wood moisturized so it doesn't crack over time and I thought I was going to keep it on the kitchen counter but I didn't like the way it looked with my brand new bowl so I opted to just have the bowl on the counter with my bananas and I'll go to the store later and throw some oranges or clementines or something in there I did the same thing to the wood on my cake plate I treated that with my food grade mineral oil and now I am going to place some cupcakes and rearrange my countertop so everything is on display nice and pretty and it doesn't look so cluttered. I thought that it would last forever Cause with you everything was better Remember when you kissed me I felt the taste of your lipstick Now I'm going to turn my attention back to the sink. I put some Barkeeper's Friend in there and bleach and I kind of spread it all around the sink and let it sit. I have white porcelain sinks and they stain very easily. I have to be very careful of what I put in here. And if I do pour something in here that has a lot of color, I make sure I rinse it down right away so it doesn't stain the sinks too bad. But an easy way to get any stains out of your sink is to use a little Barkeeper's Friend or growing up we called it Kitchen Cleanser and bleach. I know bleach is a harsh chemical, but you know, sometimes I just need it in certain areas. I don't use it in everything, but I do use it on occasion and it always gets my sink nice and bright. This scrubber that I'm using, I picked up from Dollar Tree. It is the Dollar Tree version of a scrub daddy or a scrub mommy, <laughs> whichever one you prefer. And it works really, really well. I only use it for my white porcelain sink. And I have to say it works really well. So now I'm just checking in with you guys again to see how you are doing. How's your January going? If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Marne. I am a wife, a stepmom, a dog mama to three. One of them is in heaven, a best friend, a sister, a daughter, and all the good things above. Some of my friends call me superwoman, but I just say, hey, I'm just trying to accomplish my goals and check off my bucket list and live the best life that I possibly can. How about you? Where are you from? What city are you checking in from? I would love to get to know you. My husband and I are both flight attendants for the world's largest airline. And I just transitioned this month into a permanent role at that airline into a management position. So I'm super excited about the future and my new journey. But again, drop it in the comments below. Tell me where you're from. What do you do for a living? And how do you clean? I, I find that like I don't always like clean the entire house in one day or do like a weekend tackle kind of a thing. I just clean as I go. If I've got 10 minutes here, if I've got 30 minutes here, I'll just pick up a rag and clean. Maybe I only get the half bath done. Maybe I only get the kitchen done. Maybe I only get to vacuum the floors, you know, so that's that's the way that I keep myself happy and I feel accomplished and the home stays tidy and neat. Um, so tell me about how you clean. Do you do like a weekend warrior situation where you clean the entire house or do you just tidy up as you go keeping things nice and neat and then do like your deep cleans over spring you know break like spring cleaning and winter cleaning and all that good stuff now i'm going to hang this good eat sign that i picked up from kirkland's i've been wanting something over these windows for the longest i knew i didn't want curtains because this is the kitchen but i just felt like this little area and wall 
felt so bare. And I was in Kirkland's the other day waiting for a friend that I was meeting out for dinner and I stopped in randomly and saw this sign and immediately fell in love, like immediately fell in love. I knew I didn't want like kitchen or like something real corny, <laughs> but I thought that Good Eats sign was so cute and it matches the decor in our home. So I hung that up there, but yeah, again, drop it in the comments below. Let me know what's your cleaning style. How do you keep your home nice and tidy when we live such busy and demanding lives? I, it doesn't even matter how hard I try Cause when I hear your voice my walls come down Boy you are the only thing I want There must be a way I can make you see That if we fell in love we will be so sweet But when it's you and me, me, me Nobody can bring us down, bring us down And of course, Maxwell and Creed had to pop into today's video. <laughs> they had to say hi. There's Creed. I think Max ran over to the window. Yeah, Max is looking out of the door. They love to people watch and bark at leaves. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the Roomba so we can get the floors clean and pick up some of this dog hair. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. I would love to have you as part of my community. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. But when